and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. Happy 2nd of December, everybody. Um, I don't have a drink with me this time, but only because I've just sat and drunk it while writing down lots and lots of questions that people have asked so that I can make sure I have stuff to talk about. I've written at least a page and a half and that was just off one video where I asked you to leave your questions. So thank you all so much that I will have stuff to talk about, which is awesome because I don't want to not to run out of stuff to talk about because you can't sort of redo these videos, you know, you're diamond baiting while you're diamond baiting, you're talking, you, you need to get on with it. Okay, so we have number two, which is up in this top corner. Oh, we do have some colour variety, but we do have some weird um, cutting in this section. It's not quite as neat as this section ended up, but I will put diamonds on every clear square that we have. So let me zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing. I might not zoom in as much as yesterday. I'll sort of vary it up a little bit as to how much I zoom in. But I am going to start with the black again and always try and get that one done first. I know we have a couple of days down here where that's all I'll be doing, but we'll start with the black to give us a little base and then I don't know which one I'll pick next. I guess I'll decide when it gets to it. But I hope you're all enjoying doing your advent calendars. I am enjoying um, seeing the images come up on both the Facebook group and on Instagram. I know not everybody has Instagram, um, but I'm definitely following the hashtag, um, which will be linked or mentioned, of course, in the comments below. I'm following the hashtag to keep up with you all and I'm doing my best to keep on top of the posts on the Facebook group as much as I can as well. But it's great to see so many people joining in in whatever painting they're doing. It doesn't have to be the same painting. It is nice to see the same painting, but it doesn't have to be. Um, especially when it may not be as Christmassy an image as first Oh, well, as potentially, I never expected it to be a Christmas image, but I think it's, I think it's not a generic image either, but I suppose time will tell the more of this picture that we do, how autumn and October based it is. But yes, keep your pictures coming. I'm, I'm loving seeing everybody's progress. Some people are doing one, 30 by 40. Some people are doing two or three. Some people are doing huge ones. So good on you all. Um, it's nice. I think it's nice to have at least, if you can, if you're wanting to join in, to have at least one smaller one that you do each day, even if you work on other pictures alongside. And I should really break up a canvas into small size chunks more often, you know, and have it as a project that is going to take a month and mix and match more. Maybe I should do that in the middle of the year. Um, kit up a few pictures, maybe kit up three or four. Tell me what you think actually below because I'm sort of thinking out loud and I've thought of this while talking about it, is maybe... I've just got a bead in there that is a, a bead, a diamond that is so much smaller. And of course, I'm trying to find a pair of tweezers available. And of course, I don't find any. I know I have some in my cart in the front room. This one is too small. We'll get it out that way instead. Um, yeah, so maybe that's something... I could do in the summertime where maybe I could up two or three pictures in a 
in the size of, you know, 24, 25 days, something like that. And try and work on, on all three of them through the month so that by the time the month's finished, I've got three pictures finished. Maybe that's something that might be worth doing. Maybe if people do like these whip and chats, maybe we look at doing a series of summer whip and chats or something. I don't know. I might just do it just for fun for myself. Um, and when I actually kit up a few, just kit them all up on that basis. I don't know. I'm rambling. Let me know if you think anything similar to that or preferably better than what I'm coming up with would be good. <coughs> but on to... The questions let me just work out what we go for let's go for d because it's a very dark color as well and then we can do the pretty colors in a moment um so questions okay so i've got first one on my list is what food do you tend to have for christmas in the uk i think most but most families not all because every family is different but most families will have turkey for Christmas. Not, of course, if they're vegetarian or it's just not their food of choice. But I think turkey is the main one that is eaten at Christmas. Having said that, we quite often have a selection of meats at Christmas. It's grown over the last few years. And when I say we, um, I mean sort of the extended family. A lot of the time we have Christmas dinner at my sister-in-law's with family. And quite often now we have turkey and duck and goose. So yeah, it's sort of spread as the years have gone on. We seem to have grown our meat selection. Oh, and of course the other meat that you cannot be without in my opinion, does not make a Christmas dinner without it, is pigs in blankets. So little pork sausages wrapped in bacon. Pigs in blankets has to be done every year. So that's probably the main meat and then veggies. I don't tend to have sprouts. I've never been a fan of sprouts. So I'm all for leaving those off my Christmas dinner. I remember as a child, we used to have to eat one. We used to have to eat one as children. One sprout we had to have, and that was tended to be on our Sunday dinner. In fact, a Christmas dinner is very much like a uh, Sunday dinner with, well, now with the added extra meats. Um, yeah, we always used to have to have one. And it was the whole, you either ate it first to get it over and done with, or you saved it to last with the everlasting hope that you wouldn't have to eat it, you know, and the cries of I'm too full would work. I don't remember them working very often, but as soon as I had the choice of whether to eat sprouts or not, they went completely off my diet and I haven't eaten them since. And I can say it is not a decision that I regret. I fully stand by my decision and I'm perfectly happy with that decision that was made. <laughs> Sorry to all the sprout lovers. Uh, I think that's the, the main one. Then, of course, if there is any turkey left, it's turkey sandwiches for Boxing Day or maybe even Christmas supper time, should we say, because we quite often have dinner around, around three o'clock. And then we have to, of course, watch the Queen's speech. That is a Christmas Day thing that has to happen. Watch the Queen's speech where she wishes everybody a happy Christmas or Merry Christmas. That is part of a tradition. It's not food, but it ties in with dinner. It's normally just after dinner or just before we sit down for dinner the Queen's speech has got to be in with that. So I will talk more about Christmas traditions, but that main one is what food for Christmas. 
Of course, they always have to have going along with that, you know, too many chocolates to mention. Chocolate for breakfast is normally quite a good one, a bit like Easter. Chocolate for breakfast at Christmas because there's chocolate in your stocking and you're too busy opening presents and stuff to concentrate on anything else. And it's just to keep you going till your Christmas dinner, really. We sometimes have bacon butties on Christmas morning, so we will have bacon in a balm or bacon and bread, a balm, a bap, a cob, whatever you call it, a bun, a bread bun. Pick your choice of word, they're all very similar. So we'll have a bacon balm sometimes in the morning, but if not, chocolate will do. It's just a matter of keeping going till lunch. Because really, you can get full on your lunch. There is always plenty there to be eaten. And then if you're peckish a bit later on and there's some turkey left, you can make yourself a turkey butty. If not, you can have that on Boxing Day. It tends to, to work out the way. Boxing Day, definitely. I'm forgetting what number I was doing. Uh, Boxing Day quite often can be more like a buffet style. A lot more relaxed, a lot more casual on Boxing Day. I think that's all the food traditions that I can think of. There will probably be more. And more than likely after discussing it on here, I will be thinking on Christmas Day, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. There is the traditional Christmas pudding and mince pies. More things for sweet tooth. Sometimes, quite often, the children will make mince pies with one of their aunties on Christmas Eve. So you can always have a mince pie if you fancy something sweet after your dinner but don't want a lot. Oh, I've just looked at that up in the camera. Does that look like a bat wing? It could be. It could be. Okay, so I'm going for A. Not that you can really see the symbols from any distance. And there's no colour for you to be able to tell either. So yeah, I think that's all the main food traditions. You do have to have Christmas crackers at the Christmas table as well. I think, see this is the thing, it's hard sometimes to know whether that's something that's just a UK tradition or whether it's a it's more countries because you just do Christmas how you do Christmas, don't you? You get so used to it that you think everybody else does the same sort of thing. And some countries are, of course, completely different. But yeah, Christmas dinner. And then we often play Christmas games after dinner as well. A few table games, you know, while your food settles before before we all move and settle down with a second cup of coffee or something, sat down. And some members of the family may fall asleep because they've eaten so much, because that's also seems to be a Christmas tradition. But yeah, that's the foods that I can think of. Okay, next question. So people, quite a few people have asked whether Megan will be doing an advent calendar. She hasn't kitted up an advent calendar this year. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. She is busy. So she is working full time in a school, which some days, of course, she comes back exhausted compared to other days because children take a lot of energy for definite. I also think she wants to get her two large ones that she's got on the go at the moment. So she has on, on the go her confetti tree from Fancells, I think that one was from. And then she also has her Tinkerbell one that we kitted up a bit ago. She's also got that on the go. And I think she wants to concentrate on those rather than doing a smaller one. So she's settling with her Chris, with her chocolate advent calendar this year rather than a diamond painting one. 
but she did say she will potentially join me on some of these whip and chats and we may even have my youngest join me as well so I might save some of the questions to be asking them and I'll quiz them that would be an idea and quiz them during a whip and chat and ask them about Christmas traditions from their childhood and see if they remember different things to me or whether they actually like or don't like some Christmas traditions that we may have. It could be enlightening for all of us. But yeah, they have said that they will join in at some point. It will probably be more likely be one that I get to film at the weekend because they are at work at their college. Which means they can be big busy bees. And I'm at work as well, but um, you know, people switch off on an evening when these need filming. Whereas I get these done before I switch off, the kids can be switched off a bit earlier than that. Normally once there's food in their stomachs, they tend to go and relax a bit more or get homework done. So yeah, she's not doing one, but she will appear in at least one whip and chat. We'll see how much she feels quizzed as to whether she wants to appear in more. But I'll definitely ask her and keep an ear out. Keep going with us on these whip and chats and you may see at least, there's only two out of my four children that have said they want to. Um, I don't think my son would want to at all. He's a typical 19 year old male. Second eldest, Karis, that would depend on her mood. I think she may decide she wants to partake, she may not. But keep an ear out, I'll always introduce them if we have. If I have visitors, at the moment you've got lonely old me. Sorry. Next one. Oh, so a um, couple of things about Christmas decorations. So I know I did discuss some of this yesterday, but somebody's asked, will you show the house done up? So I think what I'm gonna do in a bit later on this week, just because of I have a next busy couple of days, but later on this week, I will take some photos of various parts of my house Christmas decorations. As I, say, I, as I said yesterday, I don't tend to do a lot. I tend to go for the more subtle Christmas decorations because I don't want to get bored and annoyed with them before the end of December. But I will take some Christmas some photos and I will do a little montage of my Christmas decor and pop it at the end of a whip and chat video so that those that do want to see what it looks like can watch to the end and see it and those that don't can leave the video once I finish waffling. So I'll take those say over it, it will be the beginning part of December, but it won't be until later on in the week slash weekend. Partly because I do need to make sure that I can get the photos in daylight. And I do live in the UK, which means it goes dark at about half three. And soon as I'm not finishing the shift I'm on at work at the moment, I don't finish till half five. It's not always practical to try and get photos in on my what's classed as lunch break that I tend to be using to switch washing and get something to eat and whatever else. But it will be coming. Somebody did ask in regards to decor, am I doing the craft room up for Christmas? That one's a no. Um, we did do the most of the decoration around the house. We do want a few more bits, but we did most of it this weekend just gone. However, there's not really space in my craft room to put a lot up. 
I could potentially put some bits up around some pictures but a lot of my sides are covered with diamond paintings and the shelf I do have tends to be covered with my big lights. There just wasn't anything that it was like, oh, this would look perfect in my craft room. However, they did look perfect somewhere else in the house. So unless I see something that screams to me that would look perfect in a certain place, I don't think I'll end up with any Christmas decoration in here. I'm not against it, but I just don't think it's going to work out because all my sides currently have my three diamond paintings, well, four, including this one, that I'm working on. And I just take whichever one takes my fancy into the conservatory to work on for that evening. So, no, sorry, I won't be decorating my craft room. I would love to, but it's not a huge room. It's really not that big. And because of that, I do feel that anything else coming in it would potentially just clutter it up quite a bit. With, no, with none of my sides being clear. Because there's too much stuff on them. It might have been clear for my craft room tour, but it's definitely not clear anymore. Okay, what was the next question? I'm trying to have a look for a couple that are quick questions. So I have got a few things that are written down, but they're more of a lengthy discussion, which probably isn't best when I'm very nearly finished on this square. That's more of a... Okay, so we'll go for this one. We'll keep on the Christmas theme. There are some diamond painting questions mixed in, you know, as, as questions that were asked and I'll sort of group them together. But while we are mainly on the topic of Christmas, where did the question go? There it is. So will Christmas 2020 change with COVID? Yes, I think it already has changed for a lot a lot of people and a lot of things. The parties that sort of could happen on, on Boxing Day, not so much that we used to go, but occasionally we would nip for half an hour or an hour um, to a friend that puts a barbecue party on. That sort of, sorry, not a barbecue party, a Boxing Day party. They both started with a B. It's late. <laughs> it's late when I'm filming this. Yeah, we would quite often, you know, nip to do the say hello and wish everybody, hope that, you know, all had a nice Christmas and all that sort of stuff. That won't be happening this year. Like, their parties won't be on. In regards to Christmas Day, I think we're all okay for Christmas Day in the fact that the UK is allowing a Christmas bubble of three families or three households to mix. So Christmas day wise, that actually shouldn't change too much. There will be a family less, a family or a household less, should I say, but that's more because of the Oh, I managed to, to hit 24 minutes, even, even without unboxing a present first. Um, yeah, so there will be one less household, and that is, yeah, due to travel and distance and things like that. So it'll be quieter. It will be different, but it will. we will still be able to group up, I think. We've not had full discussions yet. But if needs be, then it will just be the six of us. We can be rowdy enough on our own. 
if, if it comes to that. Um, Christmas Eve. The own, we did used to go out, or we have for, for a couple of years, we have sort of gone out to an event that's held at Christmas. I'm not sure if that event will actually be taking place. Or if so, even if it is, whether we're going to choose to go. So the whole thing is going to be a lot quieter. There's me saying I don't think much is going to change, but I think some of it is. Boxing Day shouldn't change because we just like to stay in on Boxing Day. When the children were younger, it used to be the time to build Lego and put toys together and let them, you know, really play with the stuff that they got for Christmas rather than opening stuff and then having to go to visit family. We've quite often stayed at home for the bulk of Boxing Day when the children were younger and it's sort of carried on. It's a little bit of a decompress from the madness of and the busyness that Christmas Day brings and as awesome as it is and we love it I do think sometimes you need to take that time to just chill and enjoy the gifts that you've got and in, you know and open your presents properly and get to look at them and explore and all that sort of stuff rather than just the badness of gift giving. I'm trying not to tip any more drills in because I only have a, I only have a few more in my tray and only a few more are needed. There we go. So yeah, I reckon it will change. I'm sure I'll discuss it in a whip and chat after Christmas how much it really has changed. I only need two more now and I only need one of each. So I'm gonna do a pen a pen dive. And I'll be sure to do, a, you know, a diamond painting question and answer in the future. And I have still got a lot more questions that I will be able to answer in tomorrow's whip and chat. I'm just using in straightener on the end of this just to make sure that everything nudges down a little bit. You see how how close my cut was on that one. Not sure if you can see it. So it's showing most of the symbol, but not quite all of it. So because of that, I'm not going to do it in this square. In fact, what I might do is just move that one down a little bit for the purposes. Oh no, it's not going to work because it's it's covering up the top. It's uncovering the top. There we go. That's covered a little bit more of it just to protect it. However, I quite often just either sit something on the top of this. We scroll it back up. So quite often I either sit something on the top of this or I actually turn it over in between the days I'm working on it so it stops any dust in the air getting on top of it. And that'll be fine. We'll be up here tomorrow. But if you do have any questions based off the few questions I've answered or any more that you've thought of, do pop them in the comments below. I will be working through as many questions, if not all, that I can. And of course, if a question is asked more than once, then it might be answered a bit quicker. A lot of it depends on my mood, if I'm honest. It depends on what I feel like discussing. <laughs> or I know I can waffle about for long enough. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this Advent calendar um, and getting your day two done. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon. 